Hi, Terry Van Noy. Welcome to Math Class with Terry V. Hope this video helps you out, and if you enjoy it, please share it, comment, or like it. And you can also go to my website, mathpowerline.com. It's a math resource blog, uh, lesson videos for students, and other resources for parents and teachers. Give me a call, or go to my website or email. All right, let's go to today's lesson. This video is a viewer challenge, and this question has been brought in by Molly, one of my viewers, and she has a question about a regular polygon. Now this thing is called a dodecagon. All right, we're trying to find the area and perimeter of a dodecagon, and here it is. She sent me a picture of it, and basically all we know is the radius is nine. All right, we're trying to find the area and perimeter of this shape. Now I call it a dodecagon because as I look at the shape here, each of these sides, uh, it's a regular polygon, of course. So all sides are the same and there's 12 of them. A 12-sided polygon is called a dodecagon. And what we need to know is the formula for the area of such a shape like this, knowing it's a regular polygon. And we have to find the sides because of course, the perimeter is the distance all the way around measured on those sides. So we're going to do this in two steps. All right, we need to look at this um, and use the term apothem. See, when we have a regular polygon, we do have the radii that come out here. Um, and it's 9 according to the thing that uh, Molly sent us. It's 9 all the way around. And when I draw this from the center to the midpoint of any one of the sides, that's called an apothem. And it's one way we measure the size of a regular polygon. And hopefully you've learned this word in your math class. And it's the way we use it in the area formula. Okay. Now we're going to use the A here. We have to find out what that is. But also when we draw the apothem, it does go to the midpoint of any of the sides, as I said, and it is a right angle. Okay, that's just the way that works. So we do have a right triangle here, and we know that the hypotenuse then must be 9. So, so far we have 9 for the hypotenuse. A is going to be this longer leg, and the short leg is 1 half of the side. All right, so we're going to work with that right triangle to figure this out. We draw the right triangle, and 9 is the hypotenuse, as I mentioned. A is the apothem. Now, I'm going to label this S. Hope that's not confusing. That's actually half of the side, because remember that the apothem splits the side over here. So this little leg here, once I find it, I'm going to double it to find the real side of each uh, 12 of those sides of the dodecagon. So the thing I need to know, then, is this angle right here. How do I find that? Well. Another property of these regular polygons is that these central angles, which will be 9 here and the other radius here, and notice that if I go all the way around the circle, there's going to be 12 of them. So if I can find the angle measure of any one of these triangles here, all of these angles are going to be the same. I know that's 360 divided by 12, right? And the apothem is going to split that, so that'll help us find this little angle here. All right, so 360 divided by 12 is going to be 30. All right. Now again, apothem splits it, so it's 30 total, 15 for each of those right triangles that are formed. Okay, I hope that's clear. So once I know what that inside angle is, now I can use some trig functions to figure out A and S. All right, here we go. Let's find S first. So sine of 15 equals opposite leg S over hypotenuse 9. Cross multiply there. And the sine of 15 degrees on your calculator is 0.2588. So 9 times that value is going to give me my half the side is 2.33. All right, now the entire side then, all 12 of those sides is going to be double that. So 4.66. All right, therefore the perimeter must be 12 times that. 
So 12 times 4.66 is 55.92. And remember, we've done a lot of rounding here at this point, so it's quite possible that it could be 56 whole units. Uh, depends on how accurate you want to be, but there is the perimeter of that dodecagon. All right, let's go ahead and find the area. All right, so we know the side is 4.66, and we know that we have to find the apothem now. Now, the formula for area of a regular polygon, um, any regular polygon, is 1 half perimeter times apothem. That's, of course, why we have to find the apothem distance there. Perimeter times apothem times 1 half. All right, so we know the perimeter from our previous answer and we have to find the apothem. So here we have this right triangle again. Half the side is 2.33. The hypotenuse there is 9, the radius of that polygon. So let's go ahead and use the cosine function. Cosine of 15 degrees is going to equal the A apothem side, that's the adjacent leg notice, over the hypotenuse. All right, we're going to cross multiply. So A equals 9 times the cosine of 15. And the cosine of 15 is 0.9659, which equals 8.7. That's rounded to one decimal place, 8.7. All right. So we're going to plug that in and plug in the fact that our perimeter is 55.92. So it's 1 half times the perimeter of 55.92 from my previous page there. And the apothem we just found out is 8.7. All right. Now we put that on our calculator and the final area is 243. 0.25 and that would be square units. All right, again, regular polygons, the area is 1 half PA. You have to know the perimeter of the shape. You have to know the apothem. Sometimes you have to figure it out from this right triangle relationship. All right, Molly, thanks so much for the question. Appreciate you watching, and I hope this has um, challenged or helped you review some of these concepts. Thanks for watching again. All right, there you have it. I invite you to go to my website now, mathpowerline.com, or email me or give me a call. The way I work best with students is live online in my classroom. So if I can help you in any way, answer some specific questions, the first lesson with me is free as I show you how everything works. All right, study hard and take care.